Around the world, January the 7th is the day the Church of God celebrates Declaration of Faith Sunday. The Declaration of Faith is a capsule proclamation of the cardinal doctrines of the Church of God. It captures in 14 brief statements the core principles of our theology. In 281 words that can be recited in less than two minutes, it affirms the foremost beliefs of our church. It is a basic key for understanding the bedrock doctrinal convictions of the Bible. The Declaration of Faith helps us seize and easily remember the basic essentials of our trustworthy message. People's behavior is an extension of their beliefs, and a pastor's duty is to teach them biblical theology. However, tares grow among the wheat and wolves assault the flock. A vigilant pastor will encourage his or her people to hide the basic truths of right belief in their hearts. Learning the Declaration of Faith is an elemental start in this great process. I want to share with you the Declaration of Faith. I want you to hear it again. I want it to touch your heart, and I want it to remind us of what we have in this powerful statement. First of all, we believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible, in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost and born of the Virgin Mary. That Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead. That He ascended to heaven and is today at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor. That all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. And that repentance is commanded of God for all and necessary for forgiveness of sins. That justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ in sanctification subsequent to the new birth. Through faith in the blood of Christ, through the Word, and by the Holy Ghost. We believe that holiness is God's standard of living for His people in the baptism with the Holy Ghost subsequent to a clean heart. We believe in speaking in tongues as the Spirit gives utterance and that it is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We believe in water baptism by immersion and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We believe in divine healing and that it is provided for all in the atonement, in the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet, in the premillennial second coming of Jesus, first to resurrect the righteous dead and to catch away the living saints to Him in the air, second to reign on earth a thousand years. We believe in the bodily resurrection, eternal life for the righteous, and eternal punishment for the wicked. That, my friend, is our declaration of faith, inspired by the Word of the living God. You know, it's been said that if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. I stand unapologetically on the Word of the living God and wholeheartedly as your general overseer, endorse and embrace the declaration of faith of the Church of God.